my name is Natalie, and today I'm going to show you how to make a ruler style growth chart to track your children's growth. To follow along with this tutorial, you'll need these supplies. You can also find them listed in the description below. Before I did anything on my project, the first thing I did was I created a template in Cricut Design Space. If you need some help on how to actually cut on the Cricut or design something, you can visit the official Cricut video in the description below as well. Once I had the large rectangle to represent the plywood, I started creating smaller rectangles as the tick marks. Keep in mind that you're not going to hang your growth chart right on the ground. Since ours was raised eight inches off the ground, we cut it to be six feet tall by 11 inches wide. I also went through some fonts, played around with the resizing, and I came up with a design that I liked, which says our growing family, because I do wanna use this for future children as well. When I came up with a design that I liked, I was ready to cut. When I cut the stencil, I only cut one foot worth of markers so that I could reuse it for every foot after that. For my letters and my numbers, I used a metallic teal font, which I thought was really, really pretty. Make sure that you get the vinyl and not the heat transfer vinyl. Once you've cut, then you need to weed out the excess material so that you're only left with the text that you would like to apply to your, to your plywood board. When you're using the vinyl and you wanna apply it, you're going to also need some transfer tape. So once you've weeded out all the extra vinyl, you apply the transfer tape and you transfer your design onto the tape. That way you can apply it onto whatever surface you would like to work with. For the stencil, you wanna do the opposite. Instead of weeding out the excess material, you only wanna weed out the actual tick marks so that you're left with one giant piece of stencil and only the holes for what you would like to paint over. The next step is you're going to take your plywood and you wanna sand it so that it's totally smooth. You also wanna make sure that you sand the edges of your plywood because you'll be applying some veneer tape next. Next it was time to apply the stain and at first I was going for more of a blonde oak color but once we applied the stain it actually turned out to be a lot more chocolate than what I had anticipated it would be but I kind of liked it so I decided to keep it that color because I also figured it's more mature and it will grow with our children as they get older. It doesn't look so babyish so we did like that. And because the stain came out so dark, we decided to, instead of using black paint to apply the tick marks for the ruler, we used white instead, and that turned out to be a really nice contrast. So you'll see us here using our stencil that we created, applying it nice and smooth, and then using a sponge brush to apply the white paint over the stencil. You wanna fan it a little bit so it dries, and then you peel it off and reapply for the next foot. Once you've applied your inch markings, then it's time to apply the foot markers, which we made out of vinyl in the beginning. Because I used a metallic vinyl, it was very thick, so I was able to apply those as stickers. However, for the title, because I used a um, cursive font and it was really delicate at some points, it was better to use the transfer tape to apply that to the top of the board. And the last thing that we did, which in hindsight, it would have been smarter to do this at the very beginning before we even applied the stain. Um, we applied the hooks at the back of the board. We screwed those on and that's where we're gonna hang it from the wall. Make sure that when you go to apply this to your wall that you use anchors, not just regular screws because it is a pretty heavy board. Now that your growth chart is finished, it's dry and it's been hung up, now it's time to start making memories. The first thing we did is we charted mom and dad's height so that the children have something to compare themselves to. Then we went ahead and we charted our son's height when he was born, when he was six months, 12 months, and now he's 18 months. So we're probably going to continue to chart him every six months or so as he gets older and he grows. So you can see 
just how quickly they grow at first and then the growth starts to slow down a little bit but it's still it's incredible to see how much he's grown already. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that you're able to use it to help you make your own DIY growth chart ruler for your children. We'd love to hear from you, so if you went ahead and tried this project, please leave a comment below. Let us know how it went. Bye!